Thus wrote the Rambam in his introduction to his commentary on the Torah, and I bring you with true covenant to scrutinize this book that all the clues that I write in the secrets of the Torah are resolute Resolutely. Resolutely assert that my words will not be grasped by any or intelligence. Meaning, it is impossible to understand the text that Kabbalists wrote that talk about Kabbalah. Meaning about the relationship between man and the Creator, a system called the system of the world's concealment diminution on the one hand, and on the other hand, degrees of attainment and approach approaching to the point of dvikut, of adhesion. You cannot understand the system of relations between the Creator and the creatures and the creatures and the Creator unless you receive it from the f first hand from a teacher who is the conveyor of what exists in reality to a student under certain conditions. You can read books, but it will do no good. Again, this wrote the Rambam in his introduction to his commentary on the Torah, and I bring, and I bring with true covenant to all who scrutinize this book that all of the clues that I write in the secrets of the Torah, I resolutely assert that my words will not be grasped by any mind or intelligence except from the mouth of a wise Kabbalist to ear of an understanding receiver. You got to have conditions. A Kabbalist, a teacher above, and an understanding student below. Yes. We don't know what it is. Let's find out. Such as that, Rav Chaim Vital wrote in, in his introduction to the Tree of Life, one does not study the Kabbalist on one's own unless he is wise and understands with his own mind. Their words are thoroughly understood when they say that one must receive from a wise Kabbalist. But why the, necess the necessity for the dis disciple to first be wise and understanding with his own mind. Moreover, if he isn't so, then he must not be taught, be he the most righteous person in the world. Look what is required of the student, meaning I have to be pretty much proficient, understanding the connection between the branches and the roots, and then I can receive from the teacher his conveyance. Actually, it makes sense. It's very reasonable. Let's say, let's give this example. I finish university, I learned all kinds of things laws, formulas, all kinds of systems and whatnot. So now I come to some place and there I'm told they have a specific system that it works this way, that way. I know the branches and the roots. I know how to read from a drawing. I know how every element works, but I don't know the general system. So it's considered that I understand the branch and the root, how they're connected, but these details, how they're arranged, that's probably what I'm being conveyed in the study, seemingly. Go ahead. When one knows and thoroughly comprehends all that, there is a common language between him and his teacher. 
Then he begins to understand what his teacher is talking about, because the teacher speaks in the language of the branches, where the exact connection between the branch and the root has to be in the student as it is in the teacher. Otherwise, they're speaking different languages. They're speaking about different discernments. They don't know. It's a different language, in short. <coughs> One understands what he means by root and branch and talks about it, and the other, from his words, uh, describes, uh, imagines something completely different. Namely, the language of the benches. Using it, the Kabbalah sage may convey the studies in the wisdom conducted in the upper spiritual worlds. Because there is nothing else but the connection between the branch and the root. So that connection we need to create between one another, how can we do it technically? What, we're in workshops or...? Bala Sulam says here we have to reach despair. So it seems that we have to have extra human powers above human powers to do it. We need to do everything that the teacher tells us about our preparation period, about our preparation, until we come to a stick where the Creator begins to tend to us more and more closely and opens up for us the knowledge of root and branch. We have to learn the same language that the teacher has because then we'll understand what he means. Otherwise, he means and says and talks about the connection between the two worlds and we don't understand both worlds, we understand only our own. So we grasp his words, but not their inner content and what they point to, because he uses words and behind them he he's talking about the reality of the upper world and we hear these words and mean the lower world, because we, that's all we have. So we need to learn the language of the branches in truth, the language that you use words from this world up to the upper world. Without it, we will not understand the teacher and won't be in contact with him. That's why we, as he says here, a, weak, a person cannot help himself but needs the help of the Creator. We need the help of the Creator. <laughs>